Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Vasiliki and in this video we're going to test together the Make Your Own Magic Eyeshadow Palette by Essence. There are six eyeshadow boxes and this is number six that we're going to try today. The shape of the pants in this palette is identical to the eyeshadow box three. This is the Mermaid Eyeshadow Palette. In this palette we have some cool tone eyeshadows. We have four matte eyeshadows that we can use as crease colors. We also get six shimmery eyeshadows some of them have micro glitter we're going to see all of these on my eyes how they look I have done reviews for all of these I will have a card here and also in the description box a playlist with all of the cool essence eyeshadow palettes that I have tried I will do swatches and a makeup look with this palette and let's see how they blend on my eyes I will start with this light peachy shade I will apply it into my crease with an eye blender brush by essence this is a very light shade for me. I need to apply three, four layers. It's not as dark as it looks in the pan. It blends nicely, but you need to build the intensity so it can be visible on your skin tone. After that, I will take the dark brown gray eyeshadow and I will place it into my crease closer to my eyelid. And I will use the brush 225 by Zoeva. This eyeshadow blends nicely. I will apply a second layer. With the same brush I will take the coral eyeshadow and I will try to blend the edges because this cool grey brown eyeshadow is very different from my own skin tone. With a smudging brush by Essence I will try to blend the edges again because I have some texture here and it's not very easy to blend the grey brown eyeshadow. With an eyeshadow brush by Bella Pierre I will take a little bit of the dark brown eyeshadow. I will apply it on the outer third of my eyelid. With the same brush I will take the purple eyeshadow that we have here. It has some silver micro glitter. I want to see how it works without a set spray it's not visible I think it is very powdery okay it is more visible when you apply it with your fingertip on the other eye I will try with a setting spray before it dries I will apply again with my fingertip okay now it is visible so setting spray and fingertip for this eyeshadow and also don't forget to blend the edges here I want to try this light champagne eyeshadow that we have. In the swatches it is very powdery and chalky. So I want to see how it looks with a brush on my eyes. It is more reflective than the swatches. It looks a little bit chalky. I want to try it with a setting spray. Ooh, ooh. It's a lot more intense, but it is also patchy. It is not a very smooth foil eyeshadow because it is so fluffy, it exaggerates my lines on the eyes. I don't like it a lot because it looks heavy on my eyelid. For me it looks like a paste mm. and I don't like that for my eyeshadows. I have a lot of fallout from this eyeshadow so apply a little bit of setting spray on your under eye area if you want to swipe it away with a brush otherwise do your eye makeup before your face makeup with a smudging brush by Essence I will take this dark turquoise eyeshadow this eyeshadow swatches horribly it doesn't look nice but on my lower lash line with two layers it gives a very nice sheen with the same brush I will take this light turquoise eyeshadow that I'm not able to understand is this a satin eyeshadow, a matte eyeshadow? no idea and I will apply it in the inner lower lash line this eyeshadow is fluffy and powdery and it doesn't stay on my eyes it blends nicely with the other eyeshadow you need a lot of layers to make this eyeshadow visible on the skin I will take this cool tone pink eyeshadow this one looks like a satin eyeshadow and I will blend the edges of my lower lash line this eyeshadow is not as dark as it looks in the pan in fact it is a very light pink purple eyeshadow with a satin finish it's not very shiny 
I guess you can do a very easy everyday look with this one if you like this type of colors on your eyes. With a pencil brush by Morphe I will take this light silver eyeshadow and I will apply it in the inner corner. It is shiny. I can see that I have something in my inner corner but it is powdery so I will try with my little finger if I can apply. Oh, okay, yes. This eyeshadow is more visible with your fingertip. Oops, I applied on my nose. You can also use a setting spray with this eyeshadow and make it more intense and shiny, but it looks powdery even with a setting spray. It is the same type of eyeshadow with this light champagne. With a small smudging brush by Urban Decay, I will take this light pink eyeshadow and I want to use it for my brow bone highlighter. It looks nice with the other eyeshadows. It is a very light pink color. With an angled brush by BH Cosmetics, this is number 10. I will take the dark brown eyeshadow and I will apply it very close to my lashes so I can add a little bit of definition. For mascara I will use this one. This is new by Catrice Cosmetics and it is the Glam and Doll Boost the Lash Growth Volume Mascara. We have some kickback in the pan from all of the eyeshadows. If I close the lights you can see that the eyeshadows are looking more glittery instead of chalky but I still have a lot of fallout on my under eye area and I don't like that. This is a palette that you need to figure out how to work with the eyeshadows and find a way that you can make them visible on your eyes. I didn't like some of the eyeshadows. For me it's a miss. Let's not forget this palette is 3 euros and 95 cents so at the end of the day it depends what you want from your eyeshadows and what are your makeup preferences. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below if you like the colors of this eyeshadow palette and also if this is a palette that you would like to use for every day. If you want to learn more about makeup and also see some more videos from me don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye!